Okay, so we very slowly and gently moved our car up, maybe about 200 yards from where we saw the coyote, just around the corner. And there was a woodpecker on a skunk weed, going about his business. Now, even though he's a woodpecker, he's not on a tree. And uh, it becomes very evident that in the middle of winter, when there's so little uh, food around, all animals have one very big driving factor, survival. They have to survive the harshness of winter. And that means you've got to make do with whatever you can. In this case, the woodpecker is getting his fix of insects right off this plant. And you can see, you know, he grabs on with his little feet and little claws and he's going around. And I can't imagine how good his eyesight is and uh, aim with that beak to be picking out all the things that he is getting. But uh, he's got to do what he's got to do. And still in the background, you can hear the traffic whizzing by. So now he's going to fly off to another branch, but do the same thing. I've often said that you don't have to go way out of your way to find nature. If you're living in a bigger city, you can go out to the parks, you can go out anywhere. You might just see squirrels. You could see, you know, maybe if trees or plants are blooming, bees and uh, anything, butterflies. Or in, like our case, you might be lucky and find an area where you can see a coyote sitting down and a bird picking off bugs off a plant and up in the hillside a deer. You just never know. Yes. And the deer up in the hillside, also trying to survive with the very poor quality of food available in the winter. Okay, the woodpecker was right here, feet away. And the deer's up in the hillside. And for good measure, the coyote's up on the ridge, sitting down and watching everything. Now, how's that for a nature location? All you gotta do is go out and, and find it. I mean, it's just so amazing. Little Wiley E. Coyote sitting, taking in everything. Hello, Coyote! And over here, the woodpecker. And up by the trees up there is the deer. I might not be explaining myself too well when I say all you got to do is go find it. But sometimes, like I said, we, we just go out and we find bees, we find butterflies, we might find frogs, anything. And uh, it's the, just the amazement of nature. And all the traffic going by it, and they're oblivious. They don't see it, they don't feel it. We are surrounded by nature. All you gotta do is find it. I love it. I love it. I mean, I, I just keep going back and forth, back and forth. He's still sitting there watching. Thinking, well, I'm getting hungry. I need something to eat. Never seen a coyote sitting down before, so that's a first.